Whoa, it's your Billy Earl back to back. I got a nothing in me while I'm at it. While I'm at it. So, let's talk about Apis Biologics. Apis Biologics. Formulated in concentrations and proportions found in nature. No other supplement can say that. I get that. More people are using it. I thought so much of it I bought into the company. But as a as a bipolar schizophrenic, that kind of business kind of side of it got to me pretty good and I didn't feel like I could do too good at it. But I knew somebody that could do good at it, so I placed it in his hands. And so I still believe and love this product. And so many people, I've heard talk about it, but nobody's really done it any justice as far as I'm concerned. Do you realize the seven years of research on just biocontrol, another three years, four now probably, <laughs> Uh, on the activator, there's currently research and new research, this research and development, plus the research and development that ha uh, Andrew Munn has studied and re and put into his work to, to create this super cool product. That balance is everything. And this spring, feeding it, everybody that's using it has seen it and knows it. You've got amazing bees with tons of wax and shiny bodies and just getting it, getting it, getting it. At least that's how it is at my house. It's a beautiful thing. It's been an absolutely beautiful spring. But then we don't remember to talk about the proline. It's funny that Ian Stepler calls it rocket fuel. You see, bumblebees can turn proline into pure energy. Honeybees can't do that. But what they can do is tie proline to glucose. And when the glucose burns up, it sets that proline to burn with it, giving them extra energy, turning the proline into energy. Yep. Multiple pathways, just like with glucose, not only is proline a precursor to the vitaligenins, um, the egg yolk proteins, and the proteins responsible for keeping bees alive until they start to forage, and for keeping them young again if they quit and come back in. Queens have more vitaligenin and proline than any other bee. Drones have the next amount of proline and vitaligenin. Then, you got your in-house bees. And then your foragers. Makeup for humans, women's makeup, contains proline. We need proline. Proline is a amino slash amino acid in that it has a dual acting purpose uh, in the things that it can do. It helps cell walls to be more elastic. Uh, it gives them elasticity, which is why it's like in wrinkle moving cream and stuff like that. Um, this proline um, is I don't know how to put it. It's uh <laughs> it's super amazing in itself. However, it was an amazing discovery finding out that they had so much proline, just like the vitaligenin, and then finding out that they tie together and then with Sammy um Ramsey's research, Dr. Samuel Ramsey's research. Um, and to, to know 
how to put things together based on all that research is a beautiful thing and I love it and that is what Andrew Munn has done he has put the research and development together the work the time Ian Stepler has been using it for years before it was ever even available he was talking about it they're still talking about it lots of people are using it once again nobody's ever going to make the claim that anything is as good as what is found in nature but having taken all those samples from many different species we'll say of nectar and pollen producers and taking the mean average of all those and coming up with a a a a a percentage that gives you the right proportions and and um all of it right down to everything that's found in nature but you know well as i do some nectar and pollen producers dandelion they say the pollen ain't got much in it well in that case then would it not be better than dandelion pollen well i would say maybe i don't know if it doesn't have much in it and it's not good for the bees then would not something that has all the things with the nutrients in it be as well as good for the bees that's my thinking i mean it, it really is and um if you find yourself doubting it put it to use i mean it's a it's a big deal to have took all the many samples in nature and found those uh, concentrations and proportions and to be able to provide them in something we can put in sugar syrup and pollen patties both whatever i've done it and then i've been putting a little my my uh microbials in mine too i'm, I'm a super dfm fan i i've used it for a, a a little while this spring and then done i'm not an advocate of using anything long term um when the flow hits no more apis biologics you know no more feeding no need to um that that's something that uh you know everything has its place and its purpose but in order to build up those young colonies and to have uh all the splits that i made ready to go going into may yes sir thank you andrew Munn and apis biologics thank you ian stepler and uh if you need it you can get it at bwires.bigcartel.com or bwires.com that is as good as it gets all the amino acids all of the the different profiles and enzymes and enzyme profiles and compounds all of it this dude went out and dug it out of every plan he could get it Technically, he read the research, but he knew and he used it to give us this amazing product. And the reason I talked about the microbials is because he's he might have some stuff coming up with some microbials. You know, I don't, I don't maybe I might, might have heard that somewhere. Y'all might have too, but uh, looking forward to that. So, guys, it's a no brainer. Uh, if you have to supplement. Why supplement with something that contains something known to retard brood in a time in which you need lots of brood? I say that because thymol is known to retard brood development. And I worry about the constant feeding of thymol and what it may do to um, populations of certain pests. Not that I have a problem with it. Hey. I ain't making fun of nobody or putting nobody down. Everybody does what they want to do and what they feel is right in their heart. But it's a big difference when your bees ain't chasing after them little old black small hive beetles because they ain't there. And it's a big difference when they ain't sick and drugged down by them little red buggers because they ain't there. Partly to do with the bees, partly to do with me. Uh, I tell everybody, try it. 
Try it one time. Try it. Try it. Try it. Try it. Try it. What else is gonna hurt? Just try something. It's been around for hundreds of years. Everything I do is old school, old remedy. Something I copied off somebody. I ain't got original bone in my body, but I, I copy everything good I see. Best practices. That's what you copy. And uh, things that make sense and people that are doing good. Uh, big, big, big advocate for Jamie Ellis, Dr. Jamie Ellis, Dr. Samuel Ramsey. Those guys right now are the guys out there doing it to it. I know, Silly was awesome, but he gone now. So now you got the real men getting it. And I love it. Uh, be careful about the ones that are tied to companies. They do, after all, have a product to sell. Know what I'm saying? So, the only product I'm wanting to talk about right now, though, is Apis Biologic and how awesome it is. And uh, why is it awesome? Well, if you take that average of everything out there and knowing that there are plants out there that don't have that, then it's better than that, isn't it? And then you know in your heart that you've provided the exact concentrations and proportions found in nature. Can you say that with anything else? Don't think you can. Unless you take my tree sap that I tap these trees with, put the Apis Biologics in it like I do, and some sugar and feed it back to the bees, then you can say, it don't get no better. I'm Hillbilly Earl. God bless you all and God bless your bees.